Hey guys, it's Arlette from Chasing Joy. Today is Thursday, April 7th, and it is, um, I'm eight days post ovulation. Um, so this, this should be a two, a two week wait update video where I tell you guys how awful the wait is and go over my symptoms and stuff, but Unfortunately, it's, um, I'll try, I'll touch on a little bit of that, but it's really not that video. This video is going to be pretty short, um, because I'm sharing some sad news with you guys. Sorry. Um, as you know from my past videos, my mom has been my biggest supporter in this journey to become a single mother by choice. Um, but unfortunately, she passed away yesterday. Um, and I thought it was important to do a video and let you guys know because I'd asked you guys to pray for her. And you'd heard her voice on lots of my other videos. She was the one reading me the questions when I did the, um, the, uh, the Q&A with, um, Boston Girl, another... Um, single mom by choice, uh, black single mom by choice YouTuber. We did a collaboration and my mom was the one reading me the question. So you've heard her voice um, throughout these videos. So I wanted you guys to know. <clears throat> also, um, I really was hoping she would hang around a little longer for me to find out if this cycle was a good one, if it was positive, um, but unfortunately not. I'm happy that I did get pregnant earlier this year, um, or I guess late last year, and even though it didn't result in uh, a healthy pregnancy, at least we did get to share me getting the news and, and all that, so we did have that. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to share was just that, like I said, she was my biggest supporter on the journey. Um, I know a lot of people part of my family don't quite understand what I'm doing. And some friends weren't on board, but she was from the beginning. And she wrote me a letter that I didn't re get, um, that I was to read when she passed. And I read it last night. And she, she talks about it in the letter, so I was just going to share just that part. Um... She says, um, sorry, she says, when you told me about having a baby, I thought my prayers have been answered. When I do go, you will not be depressed or grieve too long. Because by then you will have someone who needs you, who needs your love and attention to keep you grounded in the here and now. Your dad and I will be watching you and our first grandchild. So, I just thought that was really awesome. Um, she's still cheering me on and supporting me in the journey. And always will. So, unfortunately, another sad video for you guys. I'm so sorry. But I hope that this is the last one. Um, the last sad one. I am eight days post-ovulation. Um, I haven't started testing yet because it's too soon. Um, I might start testing in a couple of days. Um, I don't feel the urgency as, as I have in past two-week waits. Um, I guess because just so much else is going on, um, and having so many, such a mixture of emotions, but I'm still praying for a positive, um, so that like my mom said, I can be focused on the future and my bundle of joy, um, and not grieve too long, um. So, as for how this two-week wait has been... Physically, um, 
in the first few days I felt um, if you didn't see the previous video, I did back-to-back -back IUIs, which I now know is called bracketing. And I felt um, that fullness in the first few days after that. And kind of like achy in my like ovary and uterus area. Not really pain, not really too much twinge, it's just, just kind of achy. Um, not really feeling much of anything in that area the last couple days. Um, started to feel a little more sensitivity in my boob and the nipple area. Um, but that's about it. Um, I've had some upset stomach and stuff, but with all the emotional things I'm going on, I, I don't really think I could attribute that to anything other than uh, my emotions. So, pretty uneventful two-week wait. I'm doing progesterone twice a, twice a day. Um, last couple nights, I forgot about my other <laughs> vitamins, prenatal, and uh, I do CoQ10, and I do vitamin D. Forgot about those. I'm going to get back on track with those tonight, but I've not missed any progesterone, um, cause, which is the main thing for right now. So, like I said, I really hope that this is the last sad video, and the next video will be... Um, me doing at home tests and then finding out the beta and I'm praying that this will be a positive cycle um, that the bracketing will have been beneficial um, but if not I'll be charging ahead just like my mom would want so thanks for watching guys and I appreciate you all um, all your kind words, prayers, and comments. And I know this video was delayed, um, as they all are, so I can, you know, have some privacy for when I do get a positive and have time to tell all my extended family before I tell the world. <laughs> um, and I appreciate you guys understanding that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, share videos thumbs up subscribe and feel free to check out the blog and reach out to me on any social media channel that you like um, all the all those um, links are in the comments below the video thanks for watching guys bye